former St. Lucian government minister Dr. James Fletcher delivered a lecture this week reflecting on the teachings of Nobel laureates Sir Arthur Lewis and their relevance to the country's development challenges. The annual Sir Arthur Lewis Memorial Lecture was held Thursday at the Finance Administrative Center in Castries. Dr. Fletcher's speech was titled Navigating the Future and Applying the Teachings of Sir William Arthur Lewis to St. Lucia's 21st Century Development Challenges. If we need further proof of the place of the importance of planning and research and the role of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College in facilitating this, we need to look no further than the case of South Korea. In 1960, Brazil and South Korea had the same per capita income. However, by 2010, the per capita income of South Korea was 4.7 times that of Brazil. Some of that increase, a relatively small percentage, was caused by increases in the labor force and in capital. However, the primary reason for the appreciable separation of the growth curves between the two countries over the course of 50 years was South Korea's better use of knowledge, technical and policy knowledge. The effective use of knowledge, particularly with respect to innovation and the development of new skills, had a significant impact on the growth performance of South Korea. Tertiary institutions must play an important role in facilitating the development of new knowledge and driving innovation. By the way, you might be interested to know that in 1980, St. Lucia, as you can see from that graph, St. Lucia and South Korea had roughly the same levels of GDP per capita. Dr. Fletcher highlighted Lewis's recommendations on economic diversification, regional integration, human capital development, planning and governance. He argued these principles can still guide St. Lucia as it confronts issues like violent crime, climate change and dependence on tourism. The world we're living in is one where people are sharing, collaborating, working with each other. Is our education system adapting to that? Agility and adaptability, initiative and entrepreneurialism. How I got through that word is amazing. <laughs> effective oral and written communication, accessing and analyzing information, and importantly, curiosity and imagination. The climate advocate urged greater investment in areas like agriculture, renewable energy, and early childhood education. He also called for long-term national planning and continues across political administrations. The myriad complex interconnected challenges that confront our country demand that we set a vision of where we want to take this country and its people and set out a plan for how we will optimize, optimally mobilize and utilize all the resources at our disposal to get us there. there. There must be, this must be a vision and a plan that everyone buys into, irrespective of political affiliation. Our aspirations and goals cannot change, and our national plans cannot start over every five years. This is what is happening. This is illogical and counterproductive. But that's what's been happening since 2006, every five years, every five years without fail. It is no wonder that we have not made the progress that is expected of us. In many instances, I dare say we have regressed. It is not the sort of thinking and behavior you expect from a country that boasts of Sir Arthur Lewis as one of its heralded sons of the soil. Dr. Fletcher acknowledged that while St. Lucia has not fully adopted Sir Arthur Lewis's development model, some aspects of it, like the focus on light industrial development in the 1970s, were influenced by his work. Dr. Fletcher analyzed the example of the banana industry's decline and the government's response, emphasizing the need for strategic interventions to support vulnerable sectors and adapt to changing market conditions. The St. Lucian economist Sir Arthur Lewis won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1979 for his pioneering research on economic development. The annual memorial lecture hosted by the community college named after Lewis is part of the Nobel Laureate Festival celebrating Lewis and poet Derek Walcott, St. Lucia's two Nobel Prize winners. Joachim de Plessy, HDS News Force.